the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're combining tech and health this morning. Can an Apple Watch help detect atrial fibrillation? A new study just out says that it actually can. Joining us this morning to explain is Baptist Health cardiologist Dr. Scott Davis. Morning. Dr. Davis, good morning. How are and you? you brought props this I did. morning. Yes. Visual aids. Yes. Isn't that cool? We love visual aids. So, do you have one of these? I your do wife not. Got one of these? My wife does. So, yes. For the Apple Watch, and one of the things that it touts, and uh, you know, live TV kind of thing. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Is <laughs> I the, love that we're doing uh, this. Is the ability <laughs> to uh, do the um, ECG monitor, which is this guy right here. And it'll, What's an ECG? Right. This guy right here, visual okay. aid. So, right. what, there's a study that came out that, and you can see the little heart thing telling yeah. me to uh, uh, put it on and, and get my heart rate. Okay. So, atrial fibrillation is an irregular rhythm that now the Apple Watch touts that it has an ability to detect. Okay. And the incidence uh, of atrial fibrillation, albeit low, is still significant as we get older. And so, the group out of Stanford, cardiology group out of Stanford, looked at over 400,000 Apple Watch wearers. So, it took all comers. It took uh, adults over the age okay. of 21. Over 25,000 were over the age of 65. So it was a pretty good yeah. cross section of U.S. Census, sure. right? Yeah. And what they did, they detected atrial fibrillation in 0.5 percent of the Apple Watch wearers. In other words, an irregular rhythm was detected using this watch. And so then they took then that 2,100 people, and then they they put on an EKG monitor mm -hmm. on these folks, and they showed a positive predictive value of 84 okay. percent, which is pretty sobering in that now we're really seeing, like you said, a blend of medical science and new technology as far as utility. And the value of this is incredible in that, you know, using this optical sensor and the algorithm that's built in this watch, we're now able to pick up atrial fibrillation just in, in an ambulatory way without having a bunch of stickies on you, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. And so there's a lot of folk, that, the, the, the implications and applications just, uh, you know, are just endless. Yeah. And, and this is, this is going to forward more and more studies. But what it means is, is that now that atrial fibrillation is one of these things that has a, a significant stroke risk, really? right? Okay. And you can argue on the other side, all right, well, I mean, you're going to go see your doctor if you feel funny. You're going to go see your doctor if you're noticing palpitations or your heart, you know, you feel like your heart's skipping, right? We hope you do. But there's a lot of folks out there who have atrial fibrillation who don't know that they're in atrial fibrillation. Uh -huh. And then the other argument is, well, I mean, a lot of older people may not wear, wear an Apple Watch. Look, this is absolutely penetrating our society. Mm -hmm. And so more and more of our, of our seniors are now using, you know, Apple technology or I don't want to promote one brand, but sure. you know, using these kinds of uh, smart digi watches. digital smart watches, and so the application the implication then is okay. Now I've I've identified something that I didn't think I had or didn't know I had, and then moreover, what's how do we follow these people? Because now that we can use, all right, you know, Mr. Kane, you're noticing we, you had some atrial fibrillation yesterday afternoon. How'd you feel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's when I feel fatigued. Yeah. That's when I feel funny. And th so there's more, this is going to launch more and more studies on, you know, c can we pick up other rhythm issues? And so with with the, like you say, with, with the medical technology piece, you know, and, and the folks in, in at, at Stanford being so close to the folks. At, oh. Uh, course, obviously, Silicon Valley. Yeah. All right, you know, you're going to see a lot more of this, and so it's it's very encouraging that you know for all the golly gee whiz stuff. Look, I did a, a piece on KTV about a year ago. Over 200,000 medical apps get pushed to the FDA mm -hmm. annually. Annually, yeah. there's no way they can sort through all those, sure. and yet you still have a few breakthroughs like this that are very encouraging. All right, thank you for coming and sharing that with us. You this bet, morning, Dr. Davis. You can always contact Baptist Health at the information on your screen.